Hello my YouTube family in today's video we are going to discuss about the sixth goddess from the list of the 10 mahavidya goddesses she is known as the self decapitated goddess and there is also one another name for her which is the prachanda chandika now there are several stories about the origin of goddess chinnamista but most of them tell as that the goddess beheaded herself because she wanted to achieve a greater and a noble cause now if you look at the picture of goddess chinnamasta it is almost scary and people kind of initially get fear when they see her pic because the goddess has self decapitated and she holds her own severed head in one hand there are three jets of blood that are spurting out of her bleeding neck and they are drunk by her severed head and two other female attendants known as dakini and varnini she is also shown standing on a copulating couple now chinnamasta's complexion is bright red similar to the color of the flower of hibiscus she possesses the brightness of a million suns she is depicted nude and with disheveled hair she is described to be a 16 year old girl having a blue lotus near her heart goddess chinnamasta also wears a serpent as a sacred thread and a garland of skulls or severed heads along her neck along with other ornaments now why do folks worship goddess chinnamasta even though she appears to be scary when you look at her photo now the chinnamasta sadhana is limited to tantrikas yogis and world renouncers due to her ferocious nature and her reputation of being dangerous to approach and worship however her sadhana is done to destroy the enemies she is worshiped to get rid of all your court cases to seek government favors to get a very strong hold in business as well as to attain good health now in terms of direction goddess chinnamasta depicts the east direction and also if you are a person who has a weak placement of rahu in your birth chart or if you are suffering from any issues related to planet rahu then you need to pray to goddess chinnamasta in order to get protection from the ill effects of rahu and that way you will be able to lead a very peaceful life and you will stop seeing any of the malefic effects of the planet rahu thank you